Okay, so simplifying this one, again, the same idea. Uh, this one I'm going to expand, even though some of you guys may not need it. So out of this, in the numerator, I'd have six of these 4x squareds. One, two, we can have a lot of these. All right, so that's what we have. At, no, what the heck? There we go. We have all of this stuff, and that looks a little sloppy, which is why we got the rules anyways. Um, but if we do multiplication of all the numerators, then we can rearrange these so we'd have four sixes, six fours rather. And then we'd have six of these x squareds. So that's just using the commutative property of multiplication. And of course the y's are still just multiplied by each other. Now there's six of those. Um, I actually don't know what four to the power of six is, so I'm gonna put that in my calculator. Uh oh, that's not it. Four to the power of six. That's a big number. I got 4,096. And right here would have x squared, but, um, well, that would be 2 plus 2, 6 times. So that should, if we added those together, I need one more. That would be x to the power of 12 over y, and we had 6 of those. That looks pretty simplified to me. Now on the other hand, and this kind of leads us to the rule, is if I show the powers of 4 and y on this, it's kind of like we're distributing the 6 to all of these, because we do have 6 of each. So I really ended up with 4 to the power of 1 times 6, x to the power of 2 times 6, and y to the power of 1 times 6. So that was 4 to the power of 6, x to the power of 12, over y to the power of 6. I prefer that short way, but, you know, again, if, if you can't remember the rules, then expanding it like we did would be just fine.